Actually, a couple of months ago, I was presenting the same talk to His Holiness the Dalai Lama, having his comments. I need first uh, some important clarification, and uh, in particular the terms spirituality, which uh, is a term which has been used very much, and not always, uh, I think, in the right uh, clarity. There are many books on uh, science and religion and I believe uh, that some of them don't reach any clear uh, end, mostly because of this confusion made in the literature between religion from one side and spirituality from the other. You see, when our ancestors began for the first time to walk in erect position, standing up from this position, they had, uh, you know, immediately the vision of the sky, the vision of the moon, the sunrise, th thunder and lightning, having then the uh, clear uh, sensation that there were powers in nature much stronger than man himself, powers to whom, uh, to which it was then necessary to erect altars and give sacrifice. And this for me, this coming up and looking at the sky, realizing for the first time question like, what is reality? Who am I? This is the origin for me of spirituality and also of uh, consciousness so that uh, science and spirituality, the search for the truth, they can march the hand in the hand. And uh, not so much for religion, we had in our civilization uh, the famous case of uh, Galileo, who was a strong believer, actually all scientists in his period were a strong believer, even Newton, even Darwin at the beginning, Kepler, and uh, however they found uh, themselves in uh, in difficulty with religion just because of this written code you know once upon a time physics was something sensible and uh, uh, with common sense and nowadays with uh, the entanglement with the uh, particles which do not exist anymore because they are strings of vibration energy and with the undetermination principle and with the electron which are not electron but a cloud of probability it's something which uh, cannot be uh, grasped anymore by our simple mind each reaction is catalyzed, as we say in chemistry, by a big protein called enzyme. And so you see what happens inside that little microbe. And actually, if you look, each of these compounds, uh, there is a co-dependent arising because of interaction of all the others.